I, I love being in a cave. It's just a wonderful place to be. And if they weren't so cold, I'd like to sleep in there. I think you would have the best night's sleep. <laughs> This part of northeast Greenland is predicted to get warmer and wetter in the future. It's one of the most sensitive areas in the whole world to climate change. The main aim of the expedition was to collect samples from caves, so specifically calcite samples. These allow us to improve our understanding of what, what we're expecting to happen in the future. The team generally all meets up in Iceland. And then we flew in a twin otter all the way up the east coast of Greenland, which is a very noisy, unpressurised aircraft. There's many refuelling stops along the way. You pass over all this wonderful sea ice, uh, over the ice sheet, over glaciers, and these milky blue rivers. It's fantastic. And then we landed on this tiny little spit of land. At first, at first look, it is so barren. It's like being on Mars. There's like nothing there. And then people start to look around and they'll notice that there's little footprints and signs that there's life up there. It's, it's really beautiful. One of the highest priorities was to visit caves we've been to in 2015, where we knew there were some really thick calcite sequences, so we had drilling gear and coring gear. Ideally, we collect samples that are already broken, so in some cases you will see us just simply picking a sample up from the floor. Nice. There we go, a little bit of stuff. Look at that block under there. Mm. Wow. Mm. <gasps> Amazing. If it's bigger and we clearly can't pick it up, then we have a core drilling rig. There it is. Go team! Amazing, right? Yeah, cool. We have to be very careful to remember which way is up and which way is down so that afterwards when we look at it we have the right order of, of what was oldest and what was youngest. This is so exciting. <laughs> Thank you. Well, all right. Cheers. 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 Thank, you. Thank you. We broke several records this expedition. We have the longest cave in Greenland the most northerly explored cave in Greenland and probably the coldest cave in the world. We came back from the expedition with lots and lots of samples to analyse. The knowledge we get from that gets fed into climate models and predictive models. That in turn can tell us about shifts in weather patterns or rising sea levels, when it rains and where crops can grow. And so this research will have huge implications for the whole of the rest of the world and allow us to improve our understanding of what we're expecting to happen in the future. <laughs>